Right, here we go, Guilds of London, uh, gameplay starts. So, uh, in interest of fairness, we'll roll the dice, see who starts first. Um, I've got a four. Let's see what Donna's got. One. One, so I guess I'll be going first. Right, let's have a look. So, I'll look at my hand of cards. This is what I have. Okay, and also that is my end goal reward that I have so far on my on my mare reward card. I'm going to keep that hidden from Donna. And so what I think I'll do straight away, too good to pass up. Oh yeah, I'm going to play this one for its actual card benefit. The action there, and there's a zero cost to do it. And I'm going to get a neutral cube. That's one of the neutrals, please. That's now fret. That's like having a big Doberman, if you like. That's in my play area. Okay. Um, oh, and I've got another good one here. So I'm going to, again, zero cost. I'm going to move the beetle. I have to move it to one of the green cross guilds and also get either a neutral or one of my um, liveryman cubes. I'm going to get a neutral as well. So I'm going to move the beetle to one with a cross. Um, I'm going to move him he, yes here and also get another neutral cube please. There we go. Um, now what I'm going to do is straight on play three green crosses down um, and this would be no cost anyway regardless of whether there was costs here because I'm just using the moving one of my um, livery moon to the cross and that's no cost so three of those down and I move three of these over onto here right now if there was if there was uh, resolving of that tile, there is it. It will get resolved because it needs four, and with the beetle, there's four on it. So I'm in a good position there already. With my final um, card, I think I'm going to keep this till next go. So I put that down. These cards go into the discard pile, and I get to draw two new cards for my next go. And now it's Donna's turn. Right, I'm going to put two liverymen on two yellow guilds. Yeah. I'm going there. Yeah. Then I'm going to move the beetle to a yellow guild and get one point. Oh, nice. Automatic one victory point, give yourself the victory point. Okay. Um. I'm going to use this one to get a neutral. Okay. Um, and I'm going to keep them two. Yeah. And Draw two up, discard that lot. Okay. Move the round marker to number two. So I don't know if you can see this, but just like we said, at the end of round two, we will check for um, tiles. For resolving the tiles, if the if any if any of the guilds um, are going to get mastered or not. So my go. I start with only a hand of four. I really want to get that resolved, that guild there. I know Donna's got one neutral, and I can pretty much mitigate against that unless she gets the remaining neutral cube that's over there, and she might well do. But I have what I'm going to do. I'm just going to play that down to take this liveryman out onto there. I'm going to play this one down just to bring a liveryman out to the guild hall. And then I'm going to play this one down with the crown to, and it matches the crown on here. And now I've overkilled on that. I've got five on there. And even if Donna gets rid of one of mine, I'm still, that tile's still going to get resolved. 
Um, now she's probably going to want to go on there for second place. It's only worth one victory point or she might have other plans. And um, that's the end of my go. So all I've used all my entire hand. Those go on to discard and I draw two up. There we go. I'm going to use... There's my two cards for next go. These two just to put two... I'm going to put them to the camera a bit better. So Donna's going to use these two. The She's just going to use them just straight down to bring two liverymen out onto the Guild of London there. Um, I'm going to use this one just to put a guild onto onto the orange onto compass. The orange. Yeah, going in on there. And I'm keeping that one. I'm keeping that one. Discard cards. And we would check now for tile resolution. And we're coming across the top. Oh. And do you know what? I didn't even notice that one up there. But this one gets resolved. There is actually three on there with the beagle. Um, oh, damn, and I missed out on that. Because nobody's going to get the second place, which is free. But starting with the person in front, you can negotiate that tile. Well, Don is not going to take one of your own up, are no. you? So that would be crazy at the moment. So, But I could... Ooh, I could give a bit of pain out here. And I think I will. I oh, think I'm going to, yeah, yeah, I'm going to give some pain. I'm going to put two neutrals on and remove them two neutrals. They go back into the middle. And that tile does not get resolved. Them two neutrals now go back yeah. into the supply on the board. And all that's left there is the beetle and that tile doesn't get resolved. So we come along. I've used my neutrals now. And we come along and this tile here needs four on. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six on there. Um, I'm not going to take any. It's, it's still going to win. Yeah, it's it's no point as the for you taking it, and you've still got that. Yeah. Still got your neutral uh, there ready for for uh, another time. So, what happens now is this will get resolved, and I will get first place for it. So I put cubes back into the centre. Keep one aside. Let's put in there for now. Donna's one will go back into the centre. She's definitely got second place there. So she will get this one victory point. She can turn it over there and keep it in her supply. Um, this little fella can come out. Now, what we're going to do now... These, he won't come in the game, by the way. He just found him as a... It's one of the neat things the little kids had. But it's easy to slide a tile back and bring one up. But he's handy for us. So, what's going to happen now is... I got first place on the guild because there was... I satisfied the four here and what will happen is I will get four victory points straight away four victory points and then at game end if I remember mm -hmm. rightly right so just checked out the uh, the mayor's parade this I feel a bit silly here because I'd actually asked Tony and he gave me the answer for the Lord Mayor's Parade. Um, what happens is, you choose an icon type, and the parade counts as that icon for the rest of the game. So it shows that because you mastered it, you can choose one of these. And I think I think I shall choose yellow. Uh, and we'll remember that because it's the one it's on. We could always write it down or whatever. So um, this tile is going, to, is going to count as yellow with the scythe and um, and it's also for end game score and it's going to count as yellow scythe as well. So I've got my four victory points. This now tile is resolved and turned over. We know I'm on, it's, it, as far as everybody's concerned that is a yellow tile for me and my cube goes on top. I now I'm, I have a master um, liveryman and he lives on that tile now so we come along and of course there's no more tiles to resolve nothing else has happened and we move the round marker forward and we're on to round three yeah. uh, we check for who's in the lead it's me so I have to go first now I've only got two cards I think I'm gonna pass and draw four cards please it takes me up to a hand limit of six 
or not hand limit, it takes me up to a hand of six. Well, quite a neat little bundle here. I have no fret, Donna does have with the neutral. I'm going to use this card to put a cube on the green guild. Just going to put one down to put a cube onto the green guild. I'm going to use this action to put the beadle on a green guild and get... So it's like the card I used before, yeah? And I'll have a neutral. Okay, and getting a neutral livery. So Donna's just used the action, which is a zero cost. She's moved it to the green cross um, and she's chosen for another neutral. So bad times for and me ahead of her. She's keeping that card. She's keeping that card. Then down, draw two up. That's my go. I need to make this. It's my go. Um, move the round forward. So we're on the end of this turn, not only we're going to check for tile dominating the tile but also the plantation as well so we really want to be getting cubes over to the plantation if at all possible so what I'm going to do for zero cost is move oh no that's the wrong one isn't it let me just check the cheat sheet what's that one what's that one the green one where you move oh, it's a few days since played yeah. so score one victory point for each of your living room cubes you now return from the plantation, of course, yeah. So no, that's not that good for me. Um, I'm not going to not going to be able to get anybody on the plantation. Um, what we're going to do? Um, okay, right. I'm just going to play this down to move one of my liverymen onto this tile here where you're going to try and score, possibly. Um, what's that one again, Donna? If I move four this turn, I get three victory points, isn't it? Yeah, Ten. if you hired four or more liverymen this turn, score three victory points. Right, do you know what? I think I'm going to do that. And I, I flood the board with them. So one, two, three, four. Just to bring in four liverymen. Oh, I can't do it. Because it, it has a cost. I can't pay you can for it. three out. Yeah, I know, but, but I wanted to, to, do, to get the victory points. Uh, can I undo my go and do that one from there? Yeah. Yeah? Let's just have a bit of a mulligan. Right, I'm not going to put a cube over there take a gamble on that. I'm actually going to pay for this card with that one. So that card's now active. I'm now going to just put four cards down to bring four over. Yeah? One, two, three, four. That's going to save me for future turns having to do that action. And because I did that, I get myself three victory points. But I've used my entire hand of cards. So there they go. And I draw two up. Thank you. I'm going to pass and get four cards. Oh, okay. But I have to get rid of... Oh no, it's right, I've got seven. Okay. And a seven. Right, and um, there's nobody controlling any tiles, is there? No? No. And nobody's on the plantation. Oh, okay. So, next round. Right. I have two cards. Ooh. Ah, oh, mint. Yes. If I control, I think this is if I control a master. A, a master on yellow, isn't it? Do you want to just check that? Return one of your master cubes to general supply to hire four, four neutral, living. four neutral is that that or one? two. Yeah. yeah, four living men or two neutral. Oh, turning. Turning. Oh. I don't really want to do that. No. Um, no, I think I'll start my domination plan. I'll put him down. No. Do you know what? I'm going to just draw four up. Can I draw four up, please? Try and get in on the next scoring round. Right. Nice, decent mixture to get in there. Right. Your turn. I'm going to use this one to get a neutral. Oh, put your free neutrals. Um, 
this one to move the beadle to a red guild and move a cube from the guild hall to plantation. Mm. So move him to the orangey there. red guild, yeah. And move one from the guild hall one to there. I'm going to get caned here. <clears throat> I use this one as my cost. You pay and, for it. Yeah. yeah. And I can only get one neutral out. So You're going to get the last one, neutral? There's only one left. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I'm in for a hiding. And I'm going to use these two to put two cubes on two blue uh, on a blue eye uh, guild. Yeah. Two out onto two blue girls. Put them there. Okay. And I'll keep that one. Oh, big go! <laughs> going to move the round marker. So at the end of this round, it's just going to be yes. tile resolution, not plantation. It's the fully greyed out out ones, the plantation. So let's have a look. What can I do? What can I do? Let's make a big impact here if I can. Um. Oof. Uh, oh. What's that one let me do? Just look on the cheat sheet. Um, Is that bottom on there? Oh no, it's yes, not. That Every time you move a living man this turn, you may place that cube on the plantation tile instead. Oh, mint, that's what I want to do. Right, so, yeah. I think I'll pay for it with this card. There's a coin to pay for this one. Uh, every time I move a liveryman this turn, I can put it onto the plantation instead. So I'll just pay um, one down to move, and and it's going to go straight onto the plantation. Um, I think I'll pay another one down to move, and it's going to go onto the plantation. Oh, but Donna's got four there. Uh, but at least I will eat up her neutrals if she decides to give me a good hiding over there. Um, do you know what? I might eat up all... Oh, no. So, I think what I'm going to do then... You've got the power to wipe me out, haven't you? But to whoever you do it all now. I'm going to put two yellows down to move two of mine over onto here. There we go. I've used all my cards and draw two up. And it's your turn. Donna's turn. Um, use this one to put a cube out on a green guild. Yeah. And just these two to put two cubes on the guild hall. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Right, here we go. So that was the end of Donna's go. So we're actually going to check for resolving tiles. So we look at the top one, and yes, it's got two on. And in player order, which is me, I have no, um, for negotiating the tile, I have no neutral cubes. Donna does. Donna has two. Okay, she's cancelled me out there. It was painful. Mm. But come along, uh, this one has only got, it needs three and it's only got two on. The beetle's there, we come along this row. Come along here. Oh, one thing I noticed as well, sometimes you can't see for looking. If, or you could write it down which colour you pick. Look, Tony's actually designed, there's actually cube spots here to place. So when you pick your colour, your cube's actually showing, so I picked yellow. And the cube just goes into the spot there. Really, really good. So now we know that's a yellow guild. Uh, so we're coming along. And Can that needs see. three. Oh, there's none, is there? No. It was just me at the top and you cancelled me out. Um, and there's no plantation this goes. So we, we move along to the start of the next turn. I think that's where we'll stop it for now. So we're on turn seven of 16 turns. And... Uh, it's going nicely, not much, not, not many points between us. Um, 
come back for <clears throat> the next part, part three of uh, Guilds of London, which will be the second part of the uh, gameplay. Thanks for watching.